needs to be inspected daily, preferably before use, by looking on the side of the machine. You will notice two oil sight glasses on the side of the blower. They should be filled to about three quarters way, so if they're below that, add as needed, again, before using the machine. The first ch oil change should come at 100 hours. After that, every 500 hours, you need to replace the oil on the blower. This reduces possible damage to the blower and maintains overall performance. Once again, we've supplied drain hoses for your convenience, which allows you to drain the oil directly into the pan instead of onto the frame. The drain hoses can be removed by using two wrenches to remove the cap by turning the cap anti-clockwise. You'll notice there are two drain hoses compared to your typical one drain hose. The reason behind this is Toto designs their blowers to use oil both in the front and in the back to lubricate the gears and bearings. This gives the blower prolonged life. Once the oil is drained from both sides, tighten the cap, put the caps back in place, tighten them, and return them to their storage locations on the machine. Once you have that finished, the blower fill ports are on the other side of the blower. There are two of them, make sure you fill both. You can remove this by using a three quarters wrench to remove the fill cap. Once you remove both fill caps, fill them with new lube, fully synthetic blower oil from Tuthill. This is mandatory because this oil was specifically designed for these blowers at these clearances. Fill each side with about a third of a quart of oil and check your sight glass. Make sure you're at the three quarters level in your sight glass in, on both sides.